Hi, Assalamualaikum. Nice to see you again. So today we are going to continue at point two, which is the mechanism of breathing. Humans and animals have different breathing mechanism. So breathing refers to the respective inhalation and uh, exhalation process. Now we are going to discuss about the breathing mechanism in insect. It will involve two process, which is during inhalation and during exhalation. Now we discuss about the inhalation. During inhalation, the abdominal muscle will relax, then the pressure will decrease, and lastly the air goes into the trachea through the spiracles. Meanwhile, for exhalation, the abdominal muscle contracts, then the pressure increase in trachea. Thus, it will force the air goes out from the spiracle through the spiracles. Next, we are going to discuss about the breathing mechanism in amphibians. It starts from the nostril opens to get more air, goes into the buccopharyngeal cavity. Then, the buccopharyngeal cavity flow will lower and the glottis will close. So, the air pressure is decreased in the mouth cavity, draw the air into the buccopharyngeal through the nostrils. Next, when the glottis open, the nostril will close. Then, the buccopharyngeal cavity will raise. The increased air pressure will push the air into the lungs. Then, the lungs expand and the gases exchange will occur at this stage. So, this is this, the structure of glottis. This is the buccopharyngeal cavity. Yeah. Now, we are going to discuss about the exhalation process in the amphibians. The lung muscle contracts. So, this is the structure of the lungs. The muscle will contract so the air expels from the lungs. So, some air escapes through the nostrils. And some of them will still remain and mix in a buccal cavity. So, this is uh, some comparison between inhalation and exhalation process. So, you may refer to these notes after this and you can do by your own. Uh, you may refer this for your revision. Next, we are going to discuss about the breathing mechanism in fish. It starts uh, when the mouth open and the buccal cavity floor is lowered. Volume of the buccal cavity will increase. Then the pressure of buccal cavity decrease. High water pressure outside will cause the operculum close and water and dissolved oxygen is thrown into the mouth. Operculum is a structure at the sides of the head of a fish. It can open and close. Now, we are going to discuss about the exhalation process. Exhalation process starts when the mouth close, the buccal cavity floor is raised, volume of buccal cavity decrease, but pressure of buccal cavity increase. Then the water flows through the lamella, the, gas, the gases exchange occur, high water pressure force the operculum to open, and lastly, the water will flow out through the openings of operculum. This is also the differences, compare and contrast between the inhalation and exhalation process in breathing mechanism of fish. So you may refer to these notes after this. To memorize all this, you can uh, memorize one side only. Let's say you can use the inhalation process because the exhalation process will opposite to the inhalation process one. Now, let me continue with discuss the breathing mechanism in human. Inhalation process, it will involve the intercostal muscle. There are two types of intercostal muscle which is external and internal intercostal muscle. During inhalation, the external intercostal muscle will contract and the internal intercostal muscle will relax. So the rib cage is 
pull upward ke atas and outward dan keluar. Diaphragm muscle contract and the diaphragm move downward to become flat and horizontal. At this time, thoracic volume will increase and the air pressure in the lungs decrease. Higher atmospheric pressure from outside force air into the lungs. For exhalation process, the external intercostal muscle relax, internal intercostal muscle contracts, the rib cage is pulled downward and inward, diaphragm muscle relax and move curve upward to form a dome shape. Thoracic volume decrease. Pressure in the thoracic, sorry, uh, pressure in the thorax cavity increase and the air is pushed out of the lungs. This is the similarities breathing mechanism in humans and animals. So all have a special muscular structure to expand and contract the respiratory cavity. The second point is all breathing mechanism changes the volume and pressure in the respiratory cavity. Last but not least, we are going to discuss about the differences between breathing mechanism of insect, fish, frogs and human. For the respiratory aperture, the insect will use a spiracle, fish will use the mouth and upper column, frogs and human will use the nostril. The structure that helps in the breathing mechanism in insect is thorax and abdomen. For fish, it will use the operculum and the muscular floor of the buccal cavity. Frogs will use the muscular buccal pharyngeal wall. And for human, we will use the diaphragm, rib cage, and intercostal muscle. The breathing mechanism insect assisted by the contractions and relaxations of abdominal muscle. For fish, it will assist movements of the floor of the buccal cavity and operculum. Frog will assisted by rapid movements of the buccal pharyngeal cavity floor and elasticity of the lungs. And human will help by the contractions and relaxations of intercostal muscles and diaphragm muscle, the movements of rib cage upward and outward, downward and inward. So with that, we have reached at the end of the subtopic, so thank you for watching. I hope you can do some revisions and prepare for the next subtopic. Next subtopic, we are going to discuss 8.3, the cases exchanged in humans, and 8.4, the health issues that related to the human respiratory system. With that, thank you and see you again.